Okay, so it's back to the Mac desktop for the next step, which is just final refinement before I release this as Linux Beta 3. So one of the things I want to do is cd into Linux and git remove changelog. The changelog has served its purpose. You saw it just disappear here. The fewer things people have a choice to click when they click into the, uh, the Linux folder, the better. So basically you go in and you should only have the, the fewest possible things to select from. A readme is important and the fact that GitHub uses those readme markdowns uh, is, uh, is enough reason for me to keep it as markdown. Although I'll probably investigate to see if I can't turn that to a .txt so it has better behavior on a double click for the average user. So my next step now is to make sure that when I, you build a pipulate, it doesn't give bad messaging. Right now, uh, if you select one, it says Python, Vim, and Git. Well, that was the old messaging, and it started educating you about the whole short stack here. But this is the blue pill, such as it were, and I just want to put the pipulate logo in there and say, uh, in white, please have patience while the server builds and then maybe go back to a uh, less bright color for these things. So I don't need that to finish. Uh, always remember that this is tiny core Linux and there is very little uh, that you can do to uh, corrupt the system. And if you do, you just hit that reset and that puts that there, and if you do a git status here, you'll see uh, it's all up to date. The only thing is the deleted change log, and I think I'll do a git commit removed changelog.md git push, and here I'm pretty sure now I really need to set up those keys. Okay, there we go. We pushed up that change, and now, uh, okay, since we have the nice uh, Vim environment here, I will cd into where um, pipulate.sh is, clear, ls, cd, reset, ls, cd, server, ls, cd, Ingredients ls there, it's going to be in here. Vim, pipulate.sh. Okay, so there's some happy fun things we can do here. First, we're not limited to the 80. I like to put it at 80 columns, but there's no reason we can't just do that. And uh, this color here is what defines the uh, the color. It was sort of that teal or. Uh, turquoise that was used there, and I'm going to look at um, recipe.sh, open with, I'll use, uh, use text edit, and I'm interested in the color, oh it's not recipes, uh, it's RC local that has all those fancy colors that we're using for the menu. RC local, open with other. This is one of the things that kind of annoys me about the Mac. Uh, it's tough to open with text edit. Okay. And so the color we're interested in is 34, which colors pipulate blue. So we just change that six to a four, and now everything beneath it is blue. And now here's an item that makes the whole video worth it right here. Control V. There is no longer Vim in the picture, so I can just highlight that, hit D for delete, check that out. Python and Git. Technically, this would be enough. I think I'll replace that with a pipe and then I'll do shift R and do spaces over these guys. And uh, so, so now 
this is like the bare minimum uh, to be enough. Uh, I think some spacing got out of whack here. There was probably some extra spacing inserted for some reason. Uh, there. Hmm. Still some extra spacing. Something doesn't look exactly right here. But I think I'm just doing a backslash before that to, uh, yeah, that's probably correct. So at very minimum, this will uh, correct the messaging that I need to correct. And uh, I'm just going to put the minimum uh, possible here. Uh, please have patience while Pipulate is installed along with. Uh, so there's going to be a kind of a spacing issue here. Uh, let's see, we are at position 67. I don't think that's visible underneath my head. So uh, let's see, I'll make it just narrow enough so that you can see that uh, horizontal position counter change here. And we are already indenting by uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we get to go up to, uh, I think, 86 in order to uh, still have it spaced on the screen. Along with its dependencies. Including Python and Git. Uh, let's see. Please have patience while Pipulate is installed along with its dependencies, including Python and Git. After done, uh, dependencies. When complete, visit uh, http colon slash slash localhost colon 8888. You can never remind people uh, too many times. Um, okay, control V, we still have a little bit too much space here. No, no, uh, yeah, control V, I did shift V. Uh, D, okay, that looks like slightly better spacing. We've got a lot to work with, so I can just uh, do another control V, just go down link like that, and then do right arrow. And uh, I'll go for slightly better spacing over top of the text beneath it. Control V, nope. Uh, yeah, control V, I keep doing shift V. Okay, that looks centered over that line more or less. I'll go for a, a sort of a centering there. And now for the final step, uh, we want to make sure there's approximately the same amount of space to the left and the right. So control V, whoops, one last time. And we'll visually center it between those uh, lines above it, which I know still maintain that original spacing. And uh, that will be pretty nice. I think uh, I want one more blank line beneath it. And uh, please have patience while Pipulate is installed along with its dependencies. When complete, visit uh, that address. Get rid of this guy here. The extra spaces, save. And uh, I don't need to keep, I think I'll go for a little bit more cleanliness. This is all the stuff that was required for installing Vim, but that's highly documented inside of 
uh, GitHub itself. I can always look back at older versions of the file. Uh, correct some spelling. Back up things installed with Python distribute. Easy install. Okay, save. And now since this was edited on the host file, we should be able to uh, uh, actually just quit out git status. It's one of the great things about git status. It shows you that that was modified and I can go to the uh, original folder here. Uh, go up a bit. Double make sure we've done a reset recently. Well, I don't have to because git status showed me that, but double click there. And whenever you do a reset, it just resets the hard drives of the virtual machine itself. It doesn't touch things like in the ingredients folder. So you can always um, improve Linux by working on the files that are stored in the host, uh, especially now that I did this work to fix the uh, Windows problems that always pop up when you edit text files on the Windows side that sort of foobars uh, Linux because of inserting carriage returns. But there you go. Uh, and now if I hit 1 to build Pipulate, voila, Python and Git. Please have patience while Python is installed along with its dependencies. When complete, visit that address. This can certainly be a lot prettier, but it is the blue pill option and I'm trying to get to a nice place as, as quickly as possible. While this is building, I'll take care of one more issue that I think is uh, really important, which is what happens to the menu after Pipulate is done being built. Uh, this is rc.local. Uh, that is, in fact, where the menu is held. And when you select uh, Build Pipulate, it's going to get replaced by Get Libraries. And... Um, that's not good because it uh, presents you with this whole other list of menu options down here which were really for a world when I was making Linux as a development platform for like Google Glass and stuff but I'm going much more mainstream than that generic Python and uh, you know for for making web apps um, so instead of uh, get libraries, build pipulate, get libraries shall become, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 characters I need to replace. And then I've got one more extra character. I could go here, but so long as uh, it's 13 characters from right there. Uh, get libraries. So it's a uh, pipulate. You've just built pipulate. And... Uh, learn more about Pipulate. It's almost like, eh, it's just Pipulate installed. Build Pipulate and I'll let them know that uh, Pipulate has been installed. And I don't even have to worry about the number of spaces. If I go that route, Pipulate installed, although I will check characters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, I'm just going to get rid of all this because uh, I don't need to provide extra explanation. Delete. And it goes back to the normal color at the end. And uh, it no longer is going to be a, a menu selection. So I want to be really careful about this so I don't break everything. But uh, if one is chosen, else we just want to echo Pipulate already installed. And I believe in a menu thing like this, you can just uh, hit escape for main menu. Now this is an opportunity to do so much more stuff, but I don't want to use that opportunity right now. I want to get the beta 3 out there. 
So, um, let's see. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff I'm, I'm uh, sort of just wiping away from here, but that's totally okay. Uh, we want to see what matches with what. This is the end of the case. That's the case there. We're totally getting rid of all that. Now, this if, else, and the end of the if statement. Yeah, that should just present a tiny little message to them. And then this is the bottom of, of the main menu. Uh, it's probably uh, going to finish building here by the time we're done, but I don't really even need to, uh, to wait for it, nor do I really want to, except maybe to, to give you a before and an after. Let's see how far along it is. Yeah, it's installing stuff from... Uh, from Pygreen and Flask with its dependencies. I'm not going to wait. Bam. Turn off. Reset. Manipulate. You know what? Before I even do that, I think I need a, a much faster way to test this because uh, it's going to go through all those installs before I know whether I even uh, did it correctly or not. Let's do vim pipulate and uh, the menu checks for the existence of something. What does that menu check for the existence of in order to show the two different variations? Ah, it checks for the existence of Python. That's kind of a bummer, because that means that uh, Python, the, the largest thing, actually has to be installed in order to test this. Um, TCE load. Well, that's the first thing. I'm going to edit all this other stuff out, just for the time being. Save, reset Levinix from Mac, and now we'll be able to test the menu change really quick, and then I'll, I'll remove the comments along these lines, and uh, this will be about the quickest I can, uh, I can do this, uh, this demonstration. And while it's going, I'll think through the next steps after that. The final thing before I can release this is probably making an edit so that after, oh, it'll, it'll be to this script. It'll actually be to pipulate.sh to get it running so that it's actually running in the background. So I build pipulate, which at the current time is really only going to um, install Python, but we'll be able to see uh, the menu change. Now you'll see some things other than Python getting installed, and the reason for that is that the tiny core Linux repository system, just like every other repository system these days, like Debian and Red Hat and Ubuntu, all check for dependencies and they install everything that is required for the thing that you're trying to install to run. Um, Linux's biggest downside used to be uh, dependency hell. You wanted to install one thing and you had to install 10 other things and then you encountered circular dependencies where you couldn't get item A without item B being installed and item B couldn't install without item A. And so uh, there's been huge efforts across most of the major Linux distributions to just get rid of that uh, uh, dependency uh, difficulty. And that's what you're seeing here. There's an awful lot of things that need to be there. Uh, for Python to be installed. And now finally, you see this last item, python.tcz being installed. And after that, it should be finished, pop back to the menu, and uh, install pipulate or get pipulate uh, should be replaced now by pipulate installed. And then there's only three real options. If we try and choose option one, Oh, that's probably even better behavior 
than uh, than I had uh, expected. It's it's not perfect. There's still issues here, but it is not uh, trying to do stuff. So now that uh, that happened, before I do a, a push, I'm actually going to do a, a shutdown. The next startup after a shutdown is actually uh, quite quick. The next startup after. So this makes a point about Linux in that after you've installed Python and Git and all that stuff necessary for Pipulate, you don't need to install it again. It's all going to just come back. And the menu should have Pipulate installed as item number one. It's loading all the extensions. There's a lot more extensions now than there used to be because Python itself, for example, is an extension. And then there's a little bit of backup stuff to restore. Not much. And there you go. Voila. And uh, so now the final steps before a, a git commit and push is to uh, undo those comments, save it, and uh, do a reset. Exit out, git status, uh, modified pipulate.sh and rc local, that is all correct. Clear pwd. I'm just going to CD up, 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 ls, git commit, uh, fixed messaging when uh, installing pipulate, git push, Okay, there we go. Uh, the last thing necessary is to start Pipulate uh, after it's installed, and then that'll be beta 3, and then I'll add that link to uh, my main website and do the whole round of social media announcements that people have been waiting for this, I think, for a fairly long time. After that, I'll probably add to the menu the ability to install uh, Vim, Vim has essentially been removed to increase startup time and to increase the focus on this system as uh, uh, the application pipulate rather than a development short stack. But we'll get back to the short stack development stuff uh, shortly. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. And don't forget to subscribe.